Good evening and welcome to Israel's Television. This is Shells. Um, tonight we're going to do another enlightening video on the Chosen Ones. Um, if you're here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I did decide to do something different today. I actually wrote my points down just to see if that will make things go a little smoother. Um, and we're going to try this out, but if I feel I'm looking too mechanical or if it doesn't mesh well, um, I'm going to go back to um, another way or figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Um, anyways, I hope you like the video. There are going to be a lot of purposes needed in the kingdom. Everyone is not going to have the same mind, purpose, or skills, which is why it's so important to let God sort the wheat out and just keep moving towards your healing and walking in love. Also, everyone is not going to have the same path to God. I realized on my journey and the different levels I've been able to go through that God tends to reach people where they are and at their level of understanding. So when you realize what God meant when he said he was love, then you can accept the fact that everyone of God may not follow the same religion as you. But as long as they walk in the love of God, it isn't for humans to judge. So I actually have found a, quite a few verses that actually correlate with what I just basically was going over and saying. And it basically, um, God's saying, like, there's going to be more than one way to me. Like, the, the greatest of these is love. Um, those that are walking in a path of love and healing and 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 um, walk with truth and righteousness, um, those are God's people. And they're all going to have different ways of explaining him. Um, so here are the verses. Psalm 17, 5. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. Psalms 23, 3. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Isaiah 2, 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob, and he will teach us the ways and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Jeremiah 6.16 6, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old path or the ancient paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will, we will not walk therein. There's more to that verse. And if you would like, you can look up Jeremiah 6.16. Colossians 2.16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. And finally, I'm going to finish with Romans 14 verses 1 through 14. Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment on disputable matters. One man's faith allows him to eat everything, but another man whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not, and the man who does not eat everything must not condemn the man who does, for God has accepted him. Who are you to judge someone else's servant to his own master? He stands or falls, and he will stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One man considers one day more sacred than another. Another man considers every day alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. He who regards one day as special does so to the Lord. He who eats meat eats to the Lord, for he gives thanks to God. And he who abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives to himself alone, and none of us dies to himself alone. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother? Or why do you look down on your brother? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, as surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me. Every tongue will confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in your brother's way. As one who is in the Lord Jesus, I am fully convinced that no food is unclean itself. But if anyone regards something as unclean, then for him it is unclean. And I'm going to stop at verse 14. Um, there is uh, more verses in Romans, but you're 
I'm sure getting the point as to what I'm trying to get at when I say there is many paths to the most high. And so now that we have went over that, I'm going to get into some signs um, that you may be chosen. And again, um, this is not about there's people that are more special than other people. Um, there's some people that are going to be shepherds or some that are going to be forerunners um, leading others in this new um, world that's going to be coming about. There's going to be uh, places for everybody. Like I said, there is a body of Christ. The hand can't do what the foot does. The heart can't do what the brain does. Everybody's role is necessary. Um, but there is going to be certain people that are going to be chosen to um, basically bring this thing in and blaze the path. So, And those same people are going to be the people that are going to help other people transition into this. But everybody's special. Everybody has a role. God has something for everybody. And um, here we go. Sign number one, when chosen by God, your life will go through a series of tests and trials to prepare you for your purpose. Honestly, most of you will look backwards and probably be considered a rebel. And when I say tests and trials, I mean everything but death. Yes, everything heartbreaking, bone breaking, inimaginable thing you can think of to do to a human, the chosen ones will have gone through a vast combo. You're not your own. You are God's. Yes, even before you consciously chose God and healing, you are already his, which is why the tests and trials come. They come in to strengthen you, mind, body, and soul, and to restore your faith in him. I mean, let's face it. After being rejected by everyone and left for dead, who wouldn't want to cry out to the God of the universe for a miracle? He literally needs us at a place of full trust in him. And that usually doesn't happen until we are stripped. We have grown up in a world that has tried to turn God into a fairy tale or a mystic creature. Like the tooth fairy. So unfortunately, very real situations are needed to try the saints and to bring about the proper mental fortitude combined with a kind heart and spirit of steel that even high ranking demons won't be able to penetrate. The chosen life is not a simple life. So if you're looking for a problem-free life, you may not be ready to be used. You've got to fight to bring down the kingdom of darkness. Sign number two. God speaks to you in signs and synchronicities. Constant repeating numbers. Continual repeated messages and confirmations of those messages. Putting out a fleece, asking God for a sign, and it happens as so the guidance that is received is always good and always promotes a path of righteousness and love. Sign number three. You feel it. You've always felt different or like you have something real important to do. You dream or fantasize about changing the world and actually start feeling depressed behind being unable to. You're not arrogant. You're not snobby. But you just know you are meant for more than your current way of living. You have a deep-seated need to help others and always notice a better way to do things. And finally, sign number four, you're watching this video. Your soul already knows who you are, even if the veil hasn't been lifted from your human eyes. So if you have been searching for answers to everything in hopes of trying to fill that void inside, and as we spoke of that last video, that void is filled by your purpose. So if you've been trying to search and you're watching this video, more than likely, that's another sign that you're meant for something here and that God has something special that he needs you to do. Um, anyways, I do hope you guys like this video. Um, it was a joy to think about and do because, um, you know, a lot of times in life, I, I always didn't really understand why inside I really try to do good, but things just kept happening. And I knew I was looked at backwards. And even though I really just wanted to love people and just do good, um, it was just really rough. And so coming to a lot of this knowledge now and realizing that all of that was just to press the right oil out of me and get me to a proper place that he needed me in order for me to fulfill his work is just a beautiful thing. He gives us beauty for our ashes. Um, it's not for nothing. It was training, preparing us to go forward and be ready for whatever is going to happen and whatever he has for us to do. With that said, I hope you all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to shine your lights and be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.